So when I first started learning how to do web development, the text editor that I used to learn web development and Ruby was Sublime Text. And Sublime Text is great. And when I first started using it, uh, I thought the, maybe the best feature of it was fuzzy search. So in Sublime Text, and actually I think in Visual Studio Code as well, which I don't have installed in this machine, you can navigate your folder structure, your code, or your, yeah, your uh, folder structure with Command P on a Mac. And I guess if you're on Linux or Windows, you can do Control P, which doesn't work on this machine because it's a Mac. And you can basically type any, type for anything that you're searching for, uh, the file name. And you can, let's say I'm looking for the user model, I can type user and I can see that user models here. I can kind of, I can uh, scroll around and I can click the file I want and I can open that file. And I've always thought this was probably the most convenient feature of these types of text editors because Without that, I would have to go to, I would have to click around, right? I would have to go to app, model, like click to open it and then look for the user and then double click on the user to open this file. Uh, I mean, there's sublime text and these text editors have other useful features as well, such as like multiple, multiple cursors uh, and no, not that and other things. But uh, I don't know what happened, but one day I just decided to use Vim uh, when I was working at an agency because this guy that was sitting next to me was using Vim. So I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll try it out. And it stuck ever since. But when I first started learning Vim, uh, I thought I got the, the key bindings relatively easy. So I learned how to like navigate around really quick and I learned how to search for stuff really quick. And, and I got pretty comfortable with navigating around with just the native uh, commands, the native, how you would navigate through, through Vim normally. But uh, one thing that I always found pretty inconvenient was trying to find a pretty good fuzzy search uh, plugin. And I've tried the classic uh, control P uh, Vim plugin. I've tried, I've tried a couple of them, a few of them, but I've always found them to be pretty, you know, not very good. Um, they work, but you know, some of them will be pretty slow. I think control P was one of them. And I think there were, a, there were a few more actually Vim fuzzy search plugins. If you look around, I think, well, there's one called fuzzy Vim and FCF, which I've never heard of. Uh, I've never tried this one. Well, to be fair, I guess I can't really say that I've tried all of them uh, because maybe new ones have come out since many years ago. But the best one, at least the one that I use right now, is called Vim Clap. And it's described as a modern modern performance fuzzy picker tree sitter and really it has a it has a lot of features but the only thing <laughs> the only thing i use it for and the only thing i know how to do with it is literally just colon clap files and then you'll get a list of files you can pick through so if i want to open up the user model i'll literally do user and uh, .rb and you can see that on the right side it shows you the uh, the preview of the file i can you know i can go down up and i can pick the file i want so if i want the if i want to open up the user model i select that and it'll open up the it'll open up the file so uh, this 
this took me, what did I learn about this plugin? I think at my last job, uh, I saw a coworker using it and I asked about it and I just, I thought it looked pretty, pretty good. And I installed it and I've been using it ever since. And the thing is prior to using Vim Clap, I would, I mean, I would, for the most part, I would only use, uh, actually only use Vim in Rails applications because Rails applications, it's, we all follow specific conventions. So even if I didn't know the app and I didn't have fuzzy search, uh, like control command P, it didn't really matter because I kind of, based on what I know about Rails and how Rails apps are structured, I know like where to find things. So if I want to open up the home page, I'll literally go to app view home index. Uh, if I want to open up the controller, I know it's under the controller folder. So since I, since I was familiar with Rails, even if I wasn't familiar with, uh, even if I didn't have a good fuzzy search plugin, I knew how to navigate around, but uh, one, when, you know, eventually you work on other kinds of applications, even if you work in a rail shop, like you'll work on a view app or Nux.js or Next.js, or I worked on a project where it was migrating thing like a PHP app into, into uh, rewriting it into Rails. So in those scenarios, I've always found myself opening up uh, Sublime Text because in, in different app structures, I didn't know where, you know, any of the files were, uh, because I was unfamiliar with it. But, uh, with Vim clap, I can, I no longer have to do that because it gives me a pretty decent fuzzy search finder sort of plugin. So, um, I just wanted to share that in, in this video because in one of the comments, uh, they asked me to use a uh, visual studio instead because they were having trouble following. And it could be that, I don't, I'm not really sure why they would have trouble following, but maybe it's because if I don't use Vim, uh, they don't have this left, what do you call this, a mini map, a, a, a file tree that they can look at as I click around. Uh, but I think, I think maybe like many, re like one of the reasons that people, especially maybe the new younger people, I can't believe that I'm saying younger people now, that they shy away from them is because it's not necessarily the, the key bindings because those are relatively easy to learn, but it's the lack of, uh, of a good fuzzy search editor. So if, you, uh, if you've been wanting to try them as your main coding editor, but uh, one of, if maybe one of the reasons was a lack of a good fuzzy search uh, plugin, Try Vim Clap out, um, see how you like it. And if you do, maybe you can uh, switch over to Vim as your main text editor. So, right, so uh, I'm gonna end the video here, a relatively short video and uh, happy coding.